We're proud to share our most recent five-star review. Our company staff works hard to go the extra mile, so these positive reviews are very motivating. And as much as we think we are doing a great job, it's customers like this that tell us about their experience that make us push harder to do better. We really appreciate and enjoy what our happy customers say about us. Happy customers, five-star reviews. These reviews wouldn't be um, made up, would they? They wouldn't make spelling mistakes in those reviews. Maybe it's time to fact check. The most important thing to us is to know from them that we are doing a great job. So Tech Life Connect, or TLC as they like to be done, is doing a great job. Well, that wasn't quite my experience when I called them a few days ago. What alerted me to them was, yes, another pop-up. In this case, there was a Microsoft warning that unless I updated my drivers immediately, I wouldn't be able to use my computer and my files would be deleted in a few seconds. So keen to understand who sets up those types of messages, I downloaded the software from a throwaway website. I say throwaway because there are many different websites where the same software appears, but ultimately it's the same software each time. It's called Advanced or Advanced System Care. As soon as I installed it, my antivirus lit up, and when I checked against the known variants of this software, 17 of the best known antivirus software firms flagged this as potentially unwanted program. Some even had their own little category just for this bit of software. Predictably, the tool flagged up lots of errors, and I wouldn't be able to repair them until I phoned a number, which was a toll-free number in the UK, where someone would enable the Thank software so that I could get these fixes. How may I assist you today? Hello, yes. Um, I've got something called Advanced System Care, and I've got a few concerns okay. about it. As always with these scams, Gurvinder Singh wanted remote access so that he could look at my machine and understand what was going on. Okay, sure. I am just connecting with you now. Now, do not click anywhere on the screen, right? Leave your mouse, sit back and relax. In just in few seconds, I will be connected with you, and then I will start the work and let you know that what is what actually needs to be done. Okay? Sure. Okay. This tool checked the hardware part of the computer and gave it a green check mark. That means no issues with the hardware part of the machine. But then, when it comes to the software part of the computer, that is the Windows 7 that you have, it have analyzed some errors. The system reliability comes out to be poor because uh, the internal applications or services on which Windows 7 operates or functions, they're crashing time and again. Oh. Did you make any changes to this computer recently? So with the aid of his tool, it misdiagnoses problems with the computer, even though there's nothing wrong with it. So let's say if he offers a price list. The billing agent fires up a real Microsoft page in an attempt to appear legitimate. And so they will charge you £199 to fix your computer. Can you see that? Okay. So £199 and that will be uh, for your computer and it will be for lifetime. You do not need to do it again and again. Your system will remain protected for the lifetime. So where, and, uh, where do I need to take it? So the uh, other option will be online where technicians will know well, don't keep your computer for 10 to 12 days. It will be done right here within 20 to 30 minutes. So these guys are offering to fix the computer immediately for the same price that Microsoft would charge. This is the second option. They will fix it right here for you. So at this point, the call is handed over to yet another agent. This time his name is Prathul Bathia. This is a name that I look up on Facebook. Thank you for being online. My name is Prafal. I'm a senior technician over here. How are you doing today? I check out his name on Facebook and, as he says, he is a senior technician at Tech Live Connect. I have a little look at his Facebook and just confirm that he does indeed work for that company. Then I will help you out to fix up each and everything on this computer and I will do tune up and clean up and providing the security on this computer. Okay. So that you never ever face any kind of issues in future, okay? Okay. Whilst I'm talking to Prafil, I check out Tech Live Connect's homepage. They've even got a little notification which says that other people are impersonating Tech Live Connect and it's not them making fraudulent calls, even though I've verified that every person that I've talked to works for Tech Live Connect already. But just to make sure, I check to see where they want me to make the payment. And yes, as predicted, they do get their payments via techlifeconnect.com's website. 
If anyone really was impersonating them, they certainly wouldn't be sending payments to Tech Life Connect. Hello? SYSTM Care has detected 83 items, which can be critical to your Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium System performance. Click on Start Repair to fix these items. Whilst their fake software was audibly warning me, I decided to have a look in a bit more depth about who Tech Live Connect really are. From their website, their address is 1010 North Central Avenue, Glendale, California. And here is that building on Street View. There's no visible sign that Tech Live Connect have anything to do with this building, and there's just a sign offering an office for lease. But fairly unusually, it is possible to find the exact call center location by a simple Google search. And here it is on Google Maps. Their address is the sixth floor of Platinum Towers, Sona Road, Gurugram, on the outskirts of Delhi. This is what the building looks like from the outside. But even pictures from the inside of the building aren't difficult to obtain. I got some of these photographs from LinkedIn, and they have a cafeteria, a training room, even in French and German, and this is the floor that they work on. But it was this angle that really caught my eye. And it was not the do not use file language sign on the left. But if you've seen any of my previous videos, you might recognize the red screen on the right. Yes, even in their corporate photographs, they've managed to trip themselves up by capturing an image of one of their own pop-ups. So who runs this sort of company? Again, not too hard to find on the internet. Our company name is Tech Live Connect, or TLC for short, and uh, I'm the CEO. I founded the company about a year and a half ago. The co-founder, together with Ryan Cotter, is a guy called Anuj Jain, who is here on the right. This is him at some of the corporate events, together with the senior management team. From what I can gather, it's Anuj Jain who heads up Tech Live Connect in India. But what surprised me most about this company was there were 138 Google reviews, and this company seemed to be getting very high marks for support. Perhaps some of these reviews could have been fake ones, so I decided to do a bit of digging. Remember the promotional video about the glowing reviews that this company was getting at the start of my video? Well, the review was apparently submitted on Yelp, so I thought I'd look a bit further. So this is the real page on Yelp, and as you can see, there's only one real review. When you look at the details of this review by Wendy L, you'll see that they had charged her $250 for doing nothing, she had to replace her computer, and only then did she figure out that it was really just a scam. But it wasn't just Wendy and I who had discovered the scam. If you search on YouTube, you'll see other videos by Scorpio Nick, The Astro 30, IT Advocate and Scammer Revolts had all witnessed Tech Live Connect running the identical scam to the one I had just seen. Their links are in the description below. But most frustrating of all, I saw an article in the Hindustan Times, a newspaper based in Delhi, which had written a very detailed article on Tech Live Connect, and it even had interviews with ex-employees. It details some of the pop-up scams that they were involved with, including details of what the parent company was. The well-written article even includes an interview with Anuj Jain, who denies that the call centre had any links between its own parent company, and blames ex-employees for spreading dirt on his company. Those ex-employees even describe the exact fraud that I had witnessed, and there was even some quotes to say that their brief was clear to con every caller between $10 and $500. The moment you put your headphones on, your supervisor tells you you are scammers. You have to entrap the customer no matter how. I've left a link to this article in the description below. We want to earn your business the best way we know how, by providing you with the best customer service possible. Come and see what we can do for you today. Thank you for taking the time to visit with us today. We look forward to speaking with you. We are only one call away from serving you.